Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy, and today we're going to take a look at Sony Ericsson's latest flagship, the Xperia X10. Another Android OS smartphone, 4-inch TFT capacitive touch display, just a killer smartphone, so we'll take a closer look at the Xperia. Also, don't forget, coming up this Monday, April 26th, we're going to have our iPhone 3GS giveaway. So if you haven't registered, make sure you stop by SmartphoneEnvy.com and register. And while you're there, check out the latest in news, reviews, and videos of your favorite smartphones. All right, let's take a closer look at Sony Ericsson's flagship, the Xperia X10. All right, so here's the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10. It's a quad-band GSM phone, tri-band 3G. There's a European version as well as a North American version. T-Mobile USA 3G bands will work on the European version. North American version, you'll want to use AT&T's 3G bands. Phone weighs 135 grams. Build quality is good. It's primarily made out of high-grade plastic with a little bit of metal. Back's got the nice rubberized texture coating, so the phone feels great in your hand. Taking a quick look around the phone, on the top you've got your power and lock key, as well as your 3.5mm headphone jack, and your micro USB port for charging and syncing and transferring data. On the right hand side is your volume rocker up and down, as well as a dedicated camera key. On the back of the phone is the 8.1 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash, touch focus, image stabilization, geotagging, and face and smile detection. It also shoots WVGA video at 30 frames per second. Underneath the battery cover is a 1500 milliamp battery, as well as a slot for your SIM card and micro SD card. The display itself is a 4 inch TFT capacitive touch display showing 65,000 colors, 480 by 854 pixels. It has a scratch resistant lens, an accelerometer sensor, as well as a proximity sensor. At the bottom of the screen are three physical keys, your back key, your home key, as well as your main menu key. The phone has 384 megabytes of RAM, one gigabyte of internal storage. It'll handle micro SD cards up to 16 gigabytes for expansion. Phone has Wi-Fi BNG, supports DNLA, has Bluetooth version 2.1 supporting A2DP, has a Qualcomm 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, and runs on Android's OS 1.6 with Timescape and Mediascape user interface overlay. Let's take a little closer look at the user interface on the uh, Sony Xperia X10. And again, this runs Android 1.6. And because of that, you've only got three different panels that you can customize. Now, there's a tentative update scheduled for sometime in September of this year to bump this up to Android 2.1 Eclair. But currently, you're going to be working in 1.6, so you've got the three panels. There's no main menu key on this phone. What you do to access the menu is simply slide up the screen from the bottom to access your main menu. And you're going to see typically what you'd normally see on any Android phone. There are a couple of programs on here that are rather unique, and we'll take a little closer look at those. To access your notification bar, typical Android, simply slide down from the top. To get rid of it, simply slide it back up. One thing I've noticed about the phone, and maybe it's because of the screen itself, if you go to the Android market and download uh, a wallpaper application, and try putting a wallpaper on this phone. I guess it's because of the size of the screen, but the wallpaper will not cover the entire screen. What you'll find is on the right panel that you'll have a, about a third of it that is uh, not covered by the wallpaper, and you'll find a, uh, a big black bar there. All right, let's take a look at Timescape, because this is one of the uh, user interface overlays that Sony Ericsson has added to the Xperia X10. And you can see the widget here on the screen, and we'll tap on that. And what happens is, the first thing it's going to open up, you're going to see an envelope down here at the bottom. This opens up all of the, everything that's happened on your phone, excuse me, from a time standpoint, in the order in which they happened. So it'll show phone calls, it'll show missed calls, it will show, I've been listening to music, that was the most recent thing I did, I took a picture of my poor dog, so I could show you how this worked. And then you've got phone calls, text messages, email messages, missed calls. It's going to keep time and track of everything that has happened on this phone while you've used it. Next to that you've got Facebook and again you can put these in any order you'd like and keep whichever ones you'd like as well. So this is going to show my recent activity on Facebook. Next to that you have the music player and the last album I was listening to seven minutes ago was 10 years. Next to that you've got your camera, picture of my poor dog, my email and again tapping on one of these as you can see will take you directly to it. And if you want to add it, there's this, what looks like an infinity symbol that's glowing up here in the upper right-hand corner. If you tap on that, it'll take you to the 
to the contact itself or the email. And if you want to add it as a contact, simply hit add contact, which is pretty cool, and very time saving. And next that you have text messages and it's the same thing. It's going to show you all your text messages based on time. And simply tapping on one will open up the conversation. You've got phone, it'll show you your calls made, missed calls, recent calls, all of that good stuff. So we're now we're back here at the beginning. Let's go a little further into it. Let's check out the record. Now you've got a choice. If you tap directly on it, it'll come up and show you the songs on the album. And you can pick which song you want to listen to. It'll also give you a listing of all the albums and all the music on your phone. And you can pick a different album to go to simply by sliding across at the bottom. Or you can slide across at the top. So that's one way you can handle it. The other thing you can do is when you tap on it, you get again that little infinity sign up here. If you would tap on that, it'll take us to a place where it shows the name of the album. We can tap on it to look at the songs. If we go back, you can see down here at the bottom it says memory card. If we move to the right, it says play now. Something that's really cool, if we go to the right again, it says YouTube. And what it'll do is it'll go on YouTube and find anything that has 10 years in it as a title as far as a video, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's what Timescape is all about. It basically keeps track of everything that's been going on on the phone from a time standpoint. Now there's also Mediascape, which is basically your media player. And let's see if I can get back to the main screen for Mediascape. Yeah, now we've got at the bottom, we've got our music and you can see recently played, recently added, favorites, most played, shuffle for our music. And again, we can go to more. And under more, we're going to see recently played. Recently added. Favorites. Artists. Albums. Tracks. Genres. Playlist. Podcasts. And audiobooks. And again, that's all inside Mediascape. And again, we've got that for set up for music, video. Again, under video, recently added, favorites. I think we have video roll, and then a videos, podcasts. And then under photos, it's going to bring up our recent photos, favorite photos. Go to more. And again, it shows recently viewed. Gonna show our favorites, camera roll, basically all our photos. Come on, baby, talk to me. There we go, my albums, friends, and then that's it. So that's Timescape and Mediascape. Timescape, again, keeps track of everything on the Xperia X10 from a time standpoint. Mediascape is basically the media player tying you into your music player, videos, as well as photos. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. That's a closer look at the uh, Sony Ericsson Xperia X10. Take care. <laughs>